Good morning everyone, thank you so much for joining us. We're just gonna wait a few moments to just make sure everyone can uh, be with us to watch this together live. Um, so if you just wanna hang with, and um, we'll begin our liturgy in a few moments time. Great stuff, so welcome everyone to our collective worship this afternoon. Not only our students at Blessed Robert Sutton, because I know you guys are pretty used to seeing things in this format, um, but also the children at Holy Rosary and St Edward's Schools. That, I think it's our first time um, we're doing something like this across all three schools um, on the same day, which is amazing. So it is great to have you all with us. We are of course joining together today because it is Cafod's Family Fast Day. And so let's unite ourselves together across all of our different locations uh, by making that sign that unites us all, the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> So as you know, today we are joining together because it is Cafod's Family Fast Day. But what exactly is Cafod's Family Fast Day? Essentially, today is a special day set aside by Cafod for us to raise funds for those not as fortunate as ourselves overseas. Traditionally, this would be done by families maybe eating a little bit less, having a bit more of a simpler meal, and donating the money that they've saved um, to Cafod. This money then goes to people all over the world to help support them have a better life. As the years have gone on and the Cafod Family Fast Day has evolved, uh, we do things like this in school and there's different campaigns that we can get involved with. And so we are getting involved as a group of schools today in the hope that the money we raise will genuinely change and make people's lives better. And of course, the reason why we do all this is because Jesus told us to, and particularly at this time of Lent, when we are encouraged to give ourselves and show love to people, this is an amazing way uh, for us to do that together today. And we're going to hear about one of the times that Jesus encouraged his disciples to do this in our scripture reading today. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Come, you that are blessed by my Father. Come and possess the kingdom which has been prepared for you ever since the creation of the world. I was hungry and you fed me, thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you received me in your homes, naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you took care of me, in prison and you visited me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This piece of scripture is actually taken from a part of the Bible where Jesus is explaining to his disciples what they need to do to get into heaven. And he explains to them that whatever they do to other people on this world, they are also doing to him. So if they're being really loving and kind to people, then they're showing that love to Jesus. But if they're not being very nice, then they're not showing that love to Jesus. And that's because Jesus lives in every single one of us. And so we need to show that love to everyone in our entire worldwide community. And we have a great opportunity to put that into practice today with our family fast day. I'm going to read you a story in a few moments time about a lady that Cafod helped um, with the money raised from a day just like today. The story begins with a little girl called Lombe. Five years ago, Lombe was born in Sierra Leone in Africa, one of the poorest countries in the world. She was tiny and wasn't growing. A little bracelet she was given could fit all the way up to her shoulder. That bracelet was no bigger than the size of a two pence coin. Some people thought Lombe wouldn't live. It was a difficult time in Sierra Leone as the country was still dealing with the Ebola virus. The family had lost their business and good food was expensive. Her mum, Amy, was very worried, but she didn't give up hope. She found out from some other new mums about a local clinic, Capod Supports. There, she met Sister Antonia, who's an expert in mother and child health. Sister Antonia could see that Lombe was very sick, but she had faith. Lombe was not getting the right food to grow. So, in a small act of love, Sister Antonia showed Amy how to make a rich, healthy sesame seed paste to feed her. Within a few weeks, Lombe got better and began to grow. Now, Lombe is five years old. She's big and strong, and her little bracelet now only fits around her thumb. Amy teaches other new mums to make the sesame paste, helping their babies get the food they need. Amy and Lombe's story is one of faith, hope and love. 
one with a happy ending, but millions of other families are struggling like they once did. Later today, we are going to have a walk where we're going to be asked some questions to reflect not only on people around the world like Amy and Lombe, um, but also about the current crisis going on in Ukraine. In groups, we will go on a walk and you will be given a card that looks like this. Um, and sometimes these questions might be a little bit unsettling to, um, to read and to think about. But what's amazing is that we know that what we are doing today to uh, raise money for CAFOD is going to help people like them around the world. So we can feel positive knowing that we are doing something about it. After a short period of time reflecting, you'll then be given the opportunity to turn over onto the other side um, of your walk card, uh, which has a bit of a bingo game on it. It's dead easy. All you have to do is read the 16 boxes and go and find someone else um, on the walk um, that ticks each one of those. Not the same person for all 16. They can be different people. Um, but have a go at maybe even trying to speak to someone that you don't normally speak to. And obviously, all that we're going to do today is because we are following Jesus' example. And so we're going to join all of our um, reflection time we're going to have, all of the conversations we're going to have, all of the initiatives uh, that are going to come from today uh, together in prayer now um, as we say together uh, the Catholic Children's Prayer for Lent. Loving God, we thank and praise you for all of the gifts you have given us. But in a world of plenty, too many people go hungry. We pray that you may work through us so our small acts of love make a big difference and everyone has enough to eat. Amen. Awesome. Uh, these prayers are actually going to be given out um, in Blessed Robert Sutton um, as prayer cards. Um, children in the primary schools, if you'd like to find this prayer um, on the internet, you can type uh, Cathod uh, Lent Prayer um, into Google and it should come up with the prayer. But I hope you have an amazing day today, walking against hunger and knowing that what we are doing today, raising money for Cathod, is making a difference around the world. Let's end now with a sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you later.